Life on Earth is very diverse, and the diversity of life on Earth is what we call biodiversity. To raise awareness on biodiversity, the UN has declared 22nd May as Biodiversity Day every year. In this video, we're going to be talking about Biodiversity Day 2021 and discover questions such as what is biodiversity? Why is biodiversity important? What can we do to protect biodiversity? And we discover the statement, when biodiversity has a problem, humanity has a problem. So, the United Nations proclaimed 22nd May as the International Day for Biological Diversity to increase understanding and awareness of biodiversity issues. The International Day for Biological Diversity falls within the scope of the UN Post-15 Development Agenda's Sustainable Development Goals. Biodiversity Day 2021 is being celebrated under the slogan, We are part of the solution, hashtag for nature. The slogan was chosen to be a continuation of the momentum generated last year under the overarching theme, Our Solutions Are in Nature, which served as a reminder that biodiversity remains the answer to several sustainable development challenges, from nature-based solutions to climate, health issues, food and water security, and sustainable livelihoods. Biodiversity is the foundation upon which we can build back better. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is all around us, and we are part of it. There are three main elements to biodiversity. One, the different types of species which live on Earth, including animals, plants, vegetables, fungi, algae, bacteria, and even viruses. Number two, the differences between individuals of the same species, such as their sizes, shapes, and colors. Number three, different ecosystems. For instance, oceans, forests, or coral reefs, and the species which live in them and their interactions. Scientists have recorded around 1.9 million different living species on Earth, but the real number is certain to be much, much higher. Many are microscopic or live deep underground or in the oceans. Others have simply not yet been discovered. Why is biodiversity important? The result of 3.8 billion years of evolution, biodiversity is essential to human survival. We rely on nature for many essential resources, including food, building materials, warmth, textiles, or the active ingredients in medicines. In addition, the, there are other vital functions that nature provides from the pollination of plants, to the filtering of air, water, and soil, to protection against floods. Life as we know it on Earth would be impossible without these essential materials and services. Unfortunately, all too often, we forget what nature gives us. In our industrialized societies, biodiversity is taken for granted and seen as something free and eternal. However, the reality is that the pressures we put on nature are increasing and many human activities are posing a major threat to the existence of numerous species. The list of pressures on biodiversity is long and includes the destruction and fragmentation of habitats, pollution of the air, water and land, overfishing and overuse of resources, forests and land, the introduction of non-native species, and the release of increasing amounts of greenhouse gases that cause climate change. What can we do to protect biodiversity? There are practical things you can do every day. We can all help by raising awareness within our community. We can help research by watching and recording wildlife 
and ecosystems. We can use sustainable techniques in our garden and can also contribute using construction and DIY projects. Let us look at some of these solutions in detail. I do not disturb animals when I'm out walking. Perhaps more than in any other season, you must avoid at all costs disturbing animals when you're out for a nature walk during the winter time. If you take animals out of their shelters, if you surprise them when they are trying to find food, or if you wake them up when they are hibernating, there is a risk that they will use up their few resources to escape or to hide, and this could be fatal. So, above all, stay on the paths, make as little noise as possible, and observe animals from a distance. After all, like you, they need to have their living space respected. I use my portable computer for as long as possible. The manufacture of game consoles and portable computers and telephones require various minerals such as copper, cobalt, lead, etc., all of which are in increasing demand. The mines from which they come are found around the planet and their exploitation has enormous impact on the surrounding environment. So think twice before changing your portable telephone or computer. I buy fish responsibly. Red tuna, cod, salmon, sole, turbot. It's urgently recommended that you stop consuming these species. Overfishing, counterproductive capture methods, and periods often at the height of the reproductive season, and certain fishing methods which destroy the seabed or accidentally catch juvenile fish, threaten the renewal of their populations. Give fish time to rebuild their populations. Eat fish and crustaceans that belong to non-vulnerable species and buy fish that are caught locally or that have an MSC label. For more information about this label, visit www.msc.org. I do not throw rubbish on the ground. Discarding rubbish in nature has an impact on the environment, often with disastrous consequences. Some waste has an immediate impact. Cigarette butts and chewing gum intoxicate or choke animals that ingest them. Small mammals and amphibians are trapped in bottles. Pieces of broken glass can cut larger animals and, because of their magnifying effect, start fires. Other rubbish has a more long-term impact. It takes hundreds of years for plastic to decompose and it releases toxic products while doing so. Batteries contain heavy metals that leach into the soil and contaminate free groundwater. So, use public rubbish receptacles and recycle as much as possible. I am reducing my consumption of drinking water. Water is indispensable to the health of the planet and that of its occupants, whether they are animals or plants. There is enough water for everyone and everything, but unfortunately, it's badly distributed and often badly managed. All most of us need to do to get our drinking water is to turn on the tap, and we often use it indiscriminately for everything, sometimes even to wash the car. Here's how you can save drinking water. Water your plants with rainwater preferably at the end of the day to avoid evaporation. Recover grey water such as dishwater, bath water, shower water, etc. and use it for flushing, cleaning floors, etc. and even after filtering for watering plants. I have downloaded animal sounds onto my mobile phone. The American Center for Biological Diversity is proposing an original way of raising the awareness of every citizen to today's biodiversity crisis. You can now download, free of charge, 
the sounds of rare animals, of animals threatened with extinction, and of those that could become threatened, and use these sounds as cell phone ringtones. The shriek of the peregrine falcon, the bleating of the giant panda, the song of the beluga whale, whichever ringtone you choose, it will be sure to surprise those who hear it, giving you an opportunity to talk about the threatened animal that makes it. You can download these ringtones and read descriptions of the corresponding animals at www.rareearthtones.org. I limit light pollution outdoors. In both the country and the city, the lighting of highways, streets and gardens makes it possible for various creatures, such as human beings, foxes, etc., to extend their nighttime activities. But artificial light disturbs many species. Animals whose sight is adapted to nocturnal light, such as owls and rats, have difficulty seeing obstacles, prey, and predators. Migratory birds are disoriented. Moths beat against lights until they are exhausted. Male fireflies are unable to perceive the luminous signals sent by the females of the species and thus are unable to reproduce. So if you want to light your garden, terrace, doorstep, etc. at night, choose non-glare lights, point them downwards and turn them off when you go inside. I do not buy clothing that needs to be dry cleaned. Most dry cleaners use perchloroethylene or tetrachloroethylene. This solvent is toxic for those who handle it. It irritates the skin and mucous membranes and can cause nausea, headache and loss of consciousness. It accumulates in the body and is probably carcinogenic. Normally used in closed circuits. It is nevertheless found in free groundwater and rivers. It is equally very harmful to the environment, to aquatic ecosystems in particular. Today, ecological dry cleaners, using biodegradable products only, such as water, are still very rare. The solution? Avoid buying clothes and household linens that need to be dry cleaned. I participate in Biodiversity Day. Proclaimed as International Biodiversity Day by the United Nations, May the 22nd provides an opportunity to raise the awareness of the public at large and our elected representatives about biodiversity, the state of biodiversity in the world today and about challenges, threats and protection. Celebrate this day by participating in the activities such as exhibitions and conferences planned for the occasion, or organize an eco-picnic or a walk to discover local flora and fauna, or arrange a concert of green music. For more information, you can visit www.cbd.int slash idb. Now, if you want to learn more about biodiversity, you can visit these websites www.ec.europa.eu talks about nature and biodiversity. To learn more about the Convention on Biological Diversity, visit www.cbd.int. The Royal Institute for the Natural, Natural Sciences of Belgium runs the website www.naturalsciences.be and www.health.belgium.be is the website of the Federal Public Service Health food chain safety and environment. When biodiversity has a problem, humanity has a problem. Biological diversity is often understood in terms of the wide variety of plants, animals and microorganisms, but it also includes genetic differences within each species. For example, between varieties of crops and breeds of livestock and the variety of ecosystems, lakes, forests, deserts, agricultural landscapes, etc., that host multiple kinds of interactions 
among their members, such as humans, plants, or animals. Biological diversity, resources, are the pillars upon which we build civilizations. Fish provide 20% of animal protein to about 3 billion people. Over 80% of the human diet is provided by plants. As many as 80% of people living in rural areas in developing countries rely on traditional plant-based medicines for basic health care. But loss of biodiversity threatens all, including our health. It has been proven that biodiversity loss could expand zoonosis, diseases transmitted from animals to humans, while on the other hand, if we keep biodiversity intact, it offers excellent tools to fight against pandemics like those caused by coronaviruses. While there is a growing recognition that biological diversity is a global asset of tremendous value to future generations, the number of species is being significantly reduced by certain human activities. Given the importance of public education and awareness about this issue, the UN decided to celebrate the International Day for Biological Diversity annually. If you want to get access to public education and student activities regarding biodiversity, please also visit ed.ted.com slash earth school it is a channel that provides 30 quests for students and people around the world to celebrate explore and connect with nature so that concludes this video of brain blitz audios we are a youtube channel that focuses on educational content if you would like to learn more about us you can always visit the website www.youtube.com slash c slash brain blitz audios so that's all for today we hope you found this video interesting and if you want to learn more about us you can visit our website and our final advice to you is to stay safe to stay curious to remember to conserve the earth and its biodiversity and above all ta-ta for now.